Do I just go? Do I just start? All right. Do you want me to count you in? Three, two, one. Good morning, Harshman Vikings. Buenos that dias. Is. Not so loud. If you weren't awake, you're awake now. Now, I'm the teacher who hates the freezing cold temperature, Mrs. Hutchins. And I'm the teacher whose classroom stays a balmy 78 degrees, Miss Crone. Oof. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022. And it's a white day. First things first, lunch and weather. Friday here at Harshman means delicious pepperoni pizza. Pizza? Chicken taquitos, pasta, hot chicken tenders, or the power pack. Your fruit options are cantaloupe chunks, or apple slices. Your vegetable choices are broccoli or baby carrots. Yeah! We're having weather. Much weather. It's time for Harshman Happenings. Here at Harshman, we talk a lot about the Harshman way. And this quarter's focus is accountability. What are some ways that we can be accountable at school? Well, we can be accountable for our materials. So be sure that you have a charged Chromebook, pencils, and paper, and bring them to every class so that you're ready. Be ready. Be accountable for your time. Use your passing periods wisely and be on time to class. And being accountable for your time also could include using your time wisely in class so that you're productive and learning. Our teachers work hard, but ultimately you are accountable for your education. Responsible for our actions. And now it's time for my favorite part of the week. Five, five, five. What are top five tips for keeping your laptop in good working condition? Keep the laptop on a hard surface, not on your bed. Keep it up on a table or dresser and do not keep it on the floor where someone can step on it. Do not keep your drink around the laptop and don't pick up the keys. Charge your laptop at home and take it with you when you leave each class. Remember, students, our entire district is out of replacement laptops, so you need to make sure you take care of your computers. Now it's time for Before You Go, Stay in the Know. On Wednesday, Justice Stephen Breyer announced his retirement from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the United States, and it's responsible for hearing cases and making verdicts on if certain laws are constitutional or not. Justice Breyer spent nearly 28 years on the court. Um, he was appointed by President Clinton. Now, President Biden has promised that he will nominate a Black woman to replace Justice Breyer. He hasn't put forward anybody specific yet, so we don't know who he's going to nominate. But once he does nominate a person, the Senate will vote to determine on if that nominee is actually going to get to be appointed to the Supreme Court. And that's what we call checks and balances. I'm a Libra. The oh, balance that's my... perfect. Yeah, the Libra scale. Yeah, I like fairness. I, injustices make me angry. I wonder... <laughs> I wonder which of our students would make the best Supreme Court justice. That would be a great thing for advisories to discuss. Who from your advisory class would make the best Supreme Court justice? That's an interesting question. Well, that's the news for now. Make it a fabulous Friday. <laughs> I got a joke about pizza and then they were like, no, I can't tell you.